Yeah, the side of the camera for a change. Guys, it's going to be a video about the power tools that I use. I have had a couple of comments in some of my videos uh, regarding, you know, what power tools I use. I've obviously done a lot of videos on the hand tools that I use, so I'll put a link here somewhere, either there or there, uh, to my Vito Pro Pack playlist. Uh, and that, that details all the, the hand tools that I use for, for different situations. But in this video, it's going to be all about the, the power tools that I use, uh, the smaller hand power tools, if you like, mostly 18 volt. Uh, cordless tools. What you can see laid out here, I'm um, just in the process of tidying out my van so I just thought we'd take the, the opportunity to do this now. Um, but I'll stop my usual waffle and we'll get into this it now. This is uh, the mainstay of my power tools. I do have other ones, you know, larger items such as uh, miter saws and things but these are pretty much the hand tools that I use. As you can see it's yellow and black for me for no other reason really than the first couple of tools that I ever bought were Dewalt. Ended up with the chargers, the batteries so Obviously, I just stick to that platform. Okay, so without further ado, we'll get into the tools. I'll keep this as brief as I can. But first tool there, anyway, it's not really a tool, but it's a DeWalt radio, which is absolute rubbish. Uh, but hey ho, I've got it. It fits a battery, it charges my phone. It, it does what it needs to do. I just I find it terrible, to be honest. It's, the reception's not great, you know, when you want it. Uh, the only thing I will say about it is fairly robust. You know, it's been dropped, kicked water, spilled on it, everything, and it's still going strong, you know, so I will say that for it, but I think I would probably prefer the Makita radio. Okay, the next item is a heat gun, uh, DeWalt. This is actually corded. Um, I don't have an issue with it being corded because I use this for usually dry and localised area of, of paint or filler. Um, so there's always power available, usually in the houses I'm working on. Uh, for this, so that's primarily what I use that for. Next one is the DeWalt Wet Vac. Uh, as a vacuum cleaner, it's absolutely useless. Uh, I know it's cordless, but even when you plug it in, it's useless. It's just got no suction at all. You know, really poor suction. But primarily, again, I use it as a wet vac uh, when I'm doing toilets. Usually, if I'm replacing, you know, say a, a fill valve when I need to empty the system completely, I will use the wet vac. Um, I'll use it now and again as a vacuum cleaner, but not too much really. Um, so that's that one. I wouldn't recommend that. One thing I would recommend is the, the laser level, the DeWalt laser level. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, whether you're tiling, you know, leveling things, pictures. Yeah, I use it, you probably saw my renovation video where I used it to level a bath and a, a basin, that type of thing. There's so many uses for that and it's absolutely invaluable. I actually use that with a Stabila pole, where the pole just fits to the roof and that it's magnetic, it just sticks to it, you know, and you can use it wherever you want, so that's an excellent tool. Next one is the plane, again invaluable, it's a great tool, I love that plane from DeWalt, um, I use it primarily for, primarily for planing the bottom of doors, you know, sides of doors, just getting things to size really, even gates, fencing gates, Pretty much planing things to be honest, but it's just a great tool. I just love the knob at the front, it's got a two mil adjustment. At the front you just twist it, um, goes from like a 0 0.1 right up to two millimeter, you know, depth. Yeah, just an excellent tool. Highly recommend it. Here we've got the impacts, I've got two impacts here. Uh, these are 18 volt. Again, they're great, I've never really had an issue with them, but I, I do like the Milwaukee Surge impact. Um, I, you know, I've used that, well, obviously borrowed it and tried it from, from other people and it just seems a lot more robust. Um, I do have a Milwaukee, it's just a small, I think it's a 10.8 volt uh, impact, we'll get on to that in a minute, and I do like that now. So there are the impacts. Okay, we've got a selection of nail guns here. Uh, this is the first fixed nail gun, it's just the older version of this, this is the newer version. But I do carry two as a backup, use this as a backup, and this is my main nail gun. Mainly for fencing, I use these two uh, guns. This is the second fixed nail gun, uh, which is a brad nailer, which is normally used for, you know, trim work, you know, beading on laminate floors, just anything like that, architrave, skirting boards, anything like that, so that's, that's a good gun. Here we have the SDS drill. Uh, I've got no problems with this, this is a great drill. I would highly recommend this. Um, as I've said, well, I don't know if I've said, but I'll leave all the, the part numbers to these, the tools that I use, just in case anybody wants to check them out. I'll leave them in the links in the description. But this is the SDS drill, primarily used for drawing into concrete masonry. 
Uh, if you saw my outside tap video, you'll have seen me use this, you know, drilling a 22 mil hole through a wall, you know, that's just ideal for this type of, type of drill. Here, we've got two hammer drills. Again, I've got one here, I think it's about eight or 10 years old. That was my, one of my very first DeWalt tools. Uh, I just bought another one, just an updated version. as a spare, really, uh, so I've got two of those for some reason. Yeah, so the Mini Impact, uh, this is a DeWalt 10.8 volt and the, the small Milwaukee, Milwaukee M12. Um, this is a great little impact, this. The, the main reason I bought this was the profile of the handle, um, because it fits so neatly into one of my Vito Pro Pack bags. Same with the DeWalt, really. It's just a lot smaller. You can see the size difference between that and that. It just fits nicely into my Tech XL maintenance bag. Here, this is one tool I hummed and hayed about for, for ages, and then I got it and seem to use it all the time. It's just an angle, 18 volt angle grinder. So many uses for this, it's just, if you don't have one, you don't feel the need that you need one, but when you get one, you just, you seem to use it all the time, what I do. You know, whether it's cutting discs, grinding discs, flapping discs, you know, wood cutting wheels, masonry discs, whatever, there's always a use for it, and I would highly recommend this one. The only thing is I use it with a, a flexible battery, because it does, uh, you know, suck the power out of the batteries. Okay, while I'm on the topic of the flexible batteries, I would highly recommend one of these. This is the DeWalt Fast Charger. So it's just basically a battery charger, but it's a, a rapid charger, if you like. It's actually got a fan inside that cools the battery down. Hence, it, it, cool, it charges the batteries quicker. So they're excellent, yeah, well worth the money. Next one is a Recip saw. I don't use this too often, really, uh, mainly for deconstructing fences or framework, you know, I don't know, old sheds, old garages, uh, stud walls, anything like that. Anything that needs to be deconstructed, I'll use the, the recip saw anyway. Really. Um, it is a handy tool, but I wouldn't say I use it too often. One thing I use a hell of a lot is the chainsaw. So this is the DeWalt chainsaw. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, but I use it with a flexible battery. Yeah, that's a nine amp hour battery. Because you know, I, I give them some abuse shit anyway. I generally use that for cutting uh, 4x4 fence posts when I'm fencing. Um, that's pretty much the main the main job I use that for. Um, but it's just an essential bit, bit of kit and I'd highly recommend that one. Small circular saw, uh, another great tool from DeWalt. Ideal, but I've recently upgraded, or not upgraded, but sort of bought a complementary saw, which is this one here, which is a mini circular saw. I've actually done a, a mini review of this, I'll leave a link up there for that. Um, that. That's an excellent tool, really good for ripping down thin sheets or in my case fence boards, I use it a lot. Um, just a, a great tool, well worth checking out. So is this, it's just a, an ideal tool as well for primarily ripping down uh, big sheets of stock material. Hiding in behind there is the multi-tool. Again, that's another tool that I use all the time. Uh, again, I've done a, a, a little video on that there, it's not the best video in the world. Didn't really show you know, a great deal of uses for it, but believe me, you can use this for hundreds of things. Yeah, it's just ideal. Uh, we've got two jigsaws here, you'll notice. Um, this is the old version. It's, uh, this is the brushed version. I've just recently purchased the, the brushless, uh, yeah, newer version of this jigsaw. I mean, the difference between these is night and day. Um, you can actually cut four by four fence posts with this, believe it or not. I'll maybe chuck a video in now uh, showing that. Right guys, here's the new jigsaw I was talking about. It's a DCS334. Um, and I was actually amazed when I tried this, but this is a 4x4 fence post. And I just wouldn't believe that a jigsaw could cut through that, but I'll demonstrate it now. Right guys, 4x4 post. It's the standard jigsaw. Let's see how it goes. Crazy. I would never have believed a jigsaw could go through that. Uh, yeah, so the power on this is unbelievable. Just a great, great saw. Uh, here we have the, the Dewalt light. I tend to use the small Nebo torches, really. Uh, but when I need a bigger light under a sink or, you know, in an attic, I'll use this this torch here. It just stands up and you can angle it wherever you want. Um, just an excellent light. It's really good. It's got a hook in the top now you, as well, where you can hang it from rafters. So great light. Highly recommend that. 
Uh, two green tools here, which people might be horrified at, but <laughs> me, I just buy what works for me. This is a, a, a mini router, if you like, a, a trim router. Um, I really only use this for hinges and doors when I'm hanging doors. I'm not heavily into carpentry, routing out hinges, as I've said. Um, there, there is occasional little jobs I'll use it for as well, but not, not too much. So for the minimal amount I do, I didn't see the point in spending a great deal of money on a, you know, a big trend router, or Festool or Dewalt. Um, the Ryobi does me just fine. It actually works really well, it's good. Yeah, this is a multi-tool Ryobi. I actually had this before I had the Dewalt, uh, but then the Dewalt came out with the, the, the lever that releases the blades quickly, so it was a no-brainer to go for the Dewalt and it's never looked back, it's excellent. But again, this is quite a good tool for what it is. Um, believe it or not, it was actually dearer than the Dewalt. I spent nearly £200 on this. Uh, when it first came out, with the, obviously with the battery, the charger and the the, the multi-tool itself. You know, so it wasn't cheap. You know, Ryobi has a reputation for being cheap, but certainly that, that wasn't cheap, I tell you. Yeah, but yeah, There are a couple of things missing from here. I've obviously got, I've got uh, two orbital sanders that's, that are off on site somewhere at the moment. I'm in the middle of doing a, a small renovation, so they're out there at the moment. These tools are what I had in the back of the van, so I just thought I'd whip them out and show you what I tend to use. Yeah, so hopefully this uh, video gave you an overview of what I use. Uh, if anybody's got any questions about any particular tool here, uh, please chuck, chuck it down in the comments and I'll answer as best I can. As I've said, I'll leave links in the description to all these tools so you can see what they actually are, you know, the model number and whatever. Again, thanks for watching guys. Apologies for maybe rattling through this too quickly, but I know this can drag out a bit, so I'm trying to be as quickly as I can just to give you a, a brief overview. Thank you.